Hey guys, Chris Cohn here and today we're going to take a full in-depth look on how to change our comfort liners for the Atlas 4.0. There are several reasons why you would want to do this. Some of them are that you want to replace them, you want to clean them or you want to install the shockwave. So I have the Atlas 4.0 liquid carbon edition and the first thing we need to do to make our lives easier is to actually remove the visor. Now we have a full episode on visor swaps so do make sure to check it down below. So with the visor out first thing we need to remove is the chin guard and you simply pull on it from the front and the two sides like so. Put it aside. Next we will unbuckle our strap and now we have to undo the poppers. There's seven poppers in total. One is here, two here and then two deeper into the cheek area. You simply grab the liner and firmly pull until you hear an audible click like so. Do so on the side, the next side and now as you can see the liner is almost out. There are two more here so again reach down and pull one, two and now we fit the strap through to release it. We do the same on the other side Fit the strap through and now the last bit is actually the headliner. Grab it and pull it out and it should go right off. And then we simply pull the whole thing out of the helmet. It would actually be a great chance for you to look around the helmet a bit and familiarize yourself with the shockwave location, the popper locations and things like this for when it's time to put the liner back in. So this is what the Comfort Liner looks like. It's comprised of three parts, the two cheek pads as well as the headliner with the integrated Rion technology. The cheek pads are actually removable as well by themselves and we're actually going to have them both off for putting the liner back in. We're simply going to fit it through roughly where it needs to be and now we're going to start once again in reverse. We're going to start from each side, find the popper, clip, clip and just run our fingers through and put pressure to make sure every clip is in. Then we will move on to the back, just going to lightly press the padding to ensure it's all the way in and now we have our first popper which is located right in the back here. We take its pin and press it firmly to connect and we're halfway there. Now we're going to install the cheek pads and this can get a bit tricky. First you need to actually fit the strap through. First we need to connect it to the back section of the liner and you simply take the tab with a little groove, twist it over and press it. it. Should look something like this. It has a bit of adjustment wiggle as well. Then we're going to take this popper and pop it in to its position. With this one in, we need to move to the two deeper ones where our cheeks are. And again, it would be good for you guys to just, you know, stretch it out and just look and locate the poppers. Simply press against them until you hear that audible click. One more left right down there. So a good way to identify this one is to actually look through the visor opening and locate it right down there. This is why it's important to remove the visor. So once you see it, simply do the same thing, press against it and you should click right on. Now, all that's left for this side is to put the trim right back in, like so. And now we have to repeat this for the other cheek pad. Fit the strap through and we start by connecting it to the back section and then putting in the popper. We move on to the last Two. Again, one, you can stretch it out to find the popper and then press and click, like so. For ease of mind, the last one is right next to the visor section. So if you stretch it out a bit, you will locate the attachment and once again, clip it in, like so. Finally, again, we have the trim. And with that in, we're good to reinsert our chin card. You have three tabs on the chin card, guys. One up front and two on the sides. So let's start with the side ones. You can always twist the liner out a bit to locate its clip point, like so. Do the same on the other side. And finally, the front. Once all of the poppers are in, simply firmly press against to make sure that nothing moves around. And that is it, guys. If this is your first time ever removing the comfort liner, it might take you a few tries. And if you find yourself having more questions, make sure to contact our customer support team and they will help you out. We have a ton more how-to videos on the Atlas 4.0, so make sure to check them out. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, stay awesome and ride safely.